Lizzy Bird, welcome back to Paper Mario. Today, we're heading into the third chapter over here by the jungle. Of course, we talked to this guy last episode. He was spooked because forever forest is dangerous. Children are strictly prohibited. There are ghosts in there. So yeah, we're just gonna go there now and see how everything goes. I'm actually pretty excited to check it out. It's just into the third chapter now, and I guess we have a good spot to save right here. Uh, do you wanna save? Yep. All right, save completed, very cool. So yeah, let's head in and see how this spooky force, oh my. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call on us at the mansion on the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the star spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. Well, thank you. Ah, and if you don't come, well, we'll get you. Boo! He's scary, I don't like him. Well, that wasn't very pleasant. Let's go ahead and get uh, Gumbario out though, so he can give us some information as we travel. If we go east, we'll get to the entrance of Forever Forest. If we go west, we'll hit Toad Town, remember? Yep, I do remember, we were just there 20 seconds ago. Chapter three, the invincible Tubba Blubba. Fancy. All right, so let's get to it, I guess. <laughs> Hope everything turns out well in chapter three. Um, So let's open that up. And it's a little weird how that works. I don't like it. Boy, this forest is really dark and spooky. People say that if you don't choose exactly the right paths, you'll get totally lost. I can believe it. This looks like the type of place where you get lost and then monsters come out of the grass and... Hey, did you notice that grass over there was rustling? I swear I saw it move. Forever Forest, Toad Town. So we just sorta of gotta go a direction and hope for the best. Oh my, oh my. Um, Boom, wait, I missed him. Go, oh, he got me. Very, very sneaky. Oh, not good. So I don't know what, really what I'm doing with these guys, so of course, let's go ahead and tattle on them. There's a prana plant. This is a prana plant. Prana plants pop out of the ground at, at unexpected moments, so be on your guard. Max HP is five, attack power is three, and defense power is zero. You've seen them in every one of your adventures, so I imagine you know them pretty well. Their sharp jaws point upward, so you'll get bitten if you try to jump on them. They smile after biting people. That smug smile, it makes me hopping mad. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit this first one with a hammer. They have five HP, so we can't quite take them out all the way, but we can do something. And we'll have to switch Goombario out to somebody else, but we'll deal with that in a moment. Oh, I blocked it. Not bad, not bad. Not that one, though. <laughs> okay, so let's switch over to Goombario now and just have him change to... Bombette sounds fine to me. There we go. Okay, Mario. Let's go ahead and hit this guy with the hammer. We don't have to do a full charge here, but I might as well. So this guy's gonna pop back up again. I tried to block it, didn't quite work. Okay, so we should be able to get him out, out of here by this turn now, so that's good. Gotcha. And then Bombette, if you don't mind, just use a body slam, I guess. Ooh, got him, not bad. Okay, so there's the first one done. And hopefully it'll continue going that well. I mean, I say that well, I don't know, we got pretty beat up there. So I'm a little curious, what happens if we go down this way? Because it seems like this whole area, oh my, is quite circular. I think, are we back? So if I go back this way, it should bring us back to the entrance of Toe Town. Yes. So now we know. If I go left and I go down, it will, oh no, that's not what I wanted. It will bring me back to where I started. And that's sort of what we need to experiment with, is where will the next one bring me? We'll have to find out. Did the enemies pop back up though? They don't, so that's sort of another good marker for us. Let's try this one. Why did that bush, oh, I don't like that. The bush smiled at me. Can I attack this? No. Creepy. I don't like it. So what's down this way? Oh, hi. Hmm, what do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest, and the path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You'd better go back. All right, <laughs> hold on. I'll go, I'll talk to you in a moment. I do wanna see what else is going on though. Is that the only direction or are all the other directions incorrect? That's what we're gonna find out. Maybe the, you know, the bush laughing at me might be a good sign. So there we go. I, I think that might be the case. Cause I think if we loop around, this is just where we were. So yeah, okay, so let's pay attention to the laughing bushes. 
might be what we need to go the correct direction. Also, if you hear any loud noises, okay, it's Sky again. <laughs> so, but if you hear any loud noises in the background, I'm sorry, there is like a big thunderstorm going on, but I think it's the perfect mood for this, this area though, so, you know what? I like it. Okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boo's mansion. You may pass then. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong paths, you'll end up back at the, fo the, uh, the forest edge before you know it. There are, there, the areas around the correct paths will always be look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot strange glowing eyes. The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different in every other, or different in other parts of the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. Okay, so we'll definitely be doing that, just trying to look for patterns and see what we can do. Uh, so this one, of course, has these bushes, but it said to pay attention to the inner trees. And you can see that, like, you know, there's always, like, an open stump. Ah! I was not ready for that. He just popped out of the darkness. Okay, we got some little fuzzies here, so let's read up on these guys. Don't head bonk. Instead, tattle on them. This is a forest fuzzy. This is a forest fuzzy. Forest fuzzies are always green. Max HP six, attack power one, defense power zero. If they grab hold of you, they'll absor absorb your HP and add it to their own. The fiends, th those no good. Oh, and they sometimes divide. If they divide, they become even stronger. So try to beat them before they can split. And we'll do everything we can then. So first off, let's just go in for a jump. That really doesn't do very much anymore. I should keep with the hammer. <laughs> okay, I tried to block that. They're gonna steal my HP here, which is not good. Um, what are you, okay, you're already dividing. Wow, that was quick. So, I will go for a full hammer shot here. There we go. And this isn't the best situation, but I guess we will, I don't know, it'd be a good idea to get rid of this in the long run. There we go. So if we can do the uh, Quake Hammer now, that'd be good, but now they're all gonna attack me. I tried to block it, it doesn't really do much. I don't know if this is actually blockable, because I pressed it, just didn't seem like, yeah, that does much. Okay, we're down to 10 HP already, wow. So let's move over and try the Quake Hammer now. That should get rid of the first two. Let's hope. Ah, uh, not quite, darn. Um, okay, head bonk this guy and hope that the other guy doesn't multiply. Yeah, there's no way to block that, I'm pretty sure. So, one thing I might wanna try to do here is use Refresh now. Um, seeing how we're about to win this battle anyways, might as well get a free heal out of it. I mean, free, I will have to restore this over time, but now's a good time just to do this, and then switch over to uh, Gumbario and just do a simple head bonk, should be all we need. Very nice. Okay, so with that done, we get six star points. We're halfway to our next level up, which is good, but we're in a bit of a risky situation here. We do have to be careful with our health. So anyways, well, okay, that was Goombario running around. I don't see anything different with any of these trees just yet. Ah, there's still more! Oh boy. Oh, this is actually sort of a situation we're in now. Um, once again, I think we'll start with Quake Hammer. And that'll get everybody down to four HP, which is great, because Goombario can now jump on one of them, just like this. But then the problem is we, they steal our HP, and it makes the whole thing messy. So there they go again with that. All right, well, at this point, I think what we can do, no problem, is we can just hit you with a hammer, and then Goombario will finish you off. Gotcha. And then same thing with you, just use a head bonk. I know it's it, we don't really need that much damage, but just getting rid of one of them is gonna be a good bet for right now because you're gonna divide. Should have known. Okay, well at least he's not stealing my health if he's doing that, right? The problem is, I still can't get rid of him here. That's ridiculous. Um. Okay. And I might as well just hit you with a hammer now. Wait, whoa, okay, we're getting some help. That's good. The spell will increase your attack power. Could have used that earlier, but you know what? I'll take what I can get now. Seven damage, wow, very nice. And now are you gonna divide? Stop, stop it. I don't appreciate it at all. So you use the hammer right away, Mario. And let's see what you do. So that was a one turn thing, darn. 
this is ridiculous. I just, I can't make progress. I mean, if he keeps splitting up, at the least we're gonna get a lot of star points. Okay, this time he's actually gonna attack me. So we should be able to get him now. Wow, insane. Okay, healing, or not healing, but getting rid of everything he's healed. But yeah, we got a lot of star points for it, so that's at least nice. I think it's gonna be like, what, 10 in total? I think so. Yep. So we're up to 61 now. We're very low on health though. I'm trying to be careful, but there's some extra health for us. So what is Goombario gonna say? Mario, don't look now, but I think I saw an eye shining deep inside the hole in that tree. Ah, oh, there it is! Okay, what if I told you to say something over here? Okay, he just, but as you can see, there it is. Okay, we got it. So let's keep it moving. And this is a new area. And once again, we have to pay attention to everything. Interacting with these will make them sort of move on their own now. So let's see what he says now. The flowers in this forest are unusual, huh? They're strangely colored and they will look creepy when they move. I think I saw some that were a slightly different color over there. Did you see them? So those are like white and red. These are white and red. Same thing with these. And what about this way? Oh, green and red. Well, this is the way we gotta go. So it's, it's always gonna be something a little bit obvious if you really pay attention. The trees in the forest are weird, aren't they? I've heard sometimes they smile wickedly. I'll tell you, if I see a tree smiling, I'm gonna run in the opposite direction. Me too. Smiling trees, that's what we're looking for this time. Don't see anything this time. Usually when you walk up to it, ooh, ooh, what's this about? Aha, look at this, awesome. Uh, hey, hello there. I'm a bulb bulb from the land called Flower Fields. That's good. Uh, a flower seed? <laughs> hmm, hmm. Should I give it to you or should it die? I think you should give it to me. Uh, well, I suppose I'll give it to you. Here you go. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So that is a magical seed to seed. Have it planted in the flower garden in Toad Town. So we're gonna make some good progress with that. Please plant it somewhere nice and take extra good care of it. If you plant it somewhere bad and I find out about it, I might place a curse on you. <laughs> All right. If you lose your way here in the forever forest, it means you're not looking be looking carefully enough. I know, it's often confusing. It's not an easy task. It takes guts and to look really closely at this scary scenery. I agree. Uh, so let's get back to it. Still looking for creepy, smiling trees. Don't see any smiling right now. Now this one looks like it might crack an evil smile. Whoa, okay, nope, I, I'm pretty sure I should have gotten the hit there. Oh my, this one's looking a lot more difficult. So I think we're once again gonna use a quake hammer. Come on. Because, you know, it's not the most damage in the world, but it's, it's a good amount of distributed damage. And we can get rid of a fuzzy right away, so that's nice. Okay, so this guy's probably going, oh no, he's gonna split up right away. Which once again, I can hit with the quake hammer. I'm gonna have to use a lot of FP here, but, oh no. I tried to block it, didn't work out so well. So let's use the Quake Hammer again. I'm gonna have to use a Mushroom after this for sure, if I have any. I really hope I brought some. But now Goombaru can get in here and get rid of this guy for sure. No problem. Very nice, so. Yeah, can't block that. Now this guy's gonna come in. Nice, I blocked that one though. Thank you. So actually, let's switch this up a little bit. We'll have Goombario attack you. Gonna get rid of him. And then all we need Mario to do is use his hammer on this guy. Doesn't even have to be a lot of damage, but we'll rev it up all the way just in case. But I'm glad to see that. It means we're making some good progress. But let's keep it going. Still haven't found a creepy tree. Ooh, some extra health for this one for sure. Maybe now though, if we pause the game real quick, take a look at the our items. Items, I do have one mushroom. It's five HP, it's really not too much compared to what we need here, but I can get it like that. Yeah, it's something. 14 out of 25, I'll take it. So what about this one? I'm still not seeing any creepy smile. I think we're about to go like full circle. Hmm. Yeah, look, we've definitely gone full circle now. There's the, uh, the guy again. So where could it be? If you see an exclamation mark over your head, check the object or the area with A. Well, I know, because of that, okay. Hmm. 
there has to be one I'm sort of missing. Like, is it? There it is. You just really gotta walk up to it. I thought it was that one too. Okay, well, what's going on over this way? Uh, let's go out like this and talk to Gubario. Uh, is it just my imagination or is it getting darker? Are we going the right way? I'm getting a little worried. There seem to be a lot of strange glowing mushrooms around these tree trunks. Boy, they're everywhere. They, it must be a, an infestation. Kinda looks like one mushroom patch is slightly different from the others. My mind may just be playing tricks on me though. So it looks like there's a lot of blue and purple ones. Oh no, you don't! I pressed the hammer button! Can something please just happen? Oh no, I don't know if we can handle this. You know what we need to do? We need to switch over to like Cooper. And then, oh, you know what? I did that the wrong way. Isn't that embarrassing? Uh, let's just do Quake Hammer for now. I know I've been using this move a lot, but it is very, very useful. But I'm in a lot of trouble if I can't block this. Nice. Right when he opens his mouth to the side. Uh. Come on, I did it the same exact way I did it the other times. Switch over to Cooper. So we got Dizzy Shell, Daze and Paralyze all enemies on the ground, or Throw Shell enemies on the ground. Let's just do this one then. Hopefully it does three damage. Yes, it does! Okay, well, we made it work. I desperately need to use more mushrooms here before I run into more enemies like that, but there we go, eight more star points. We're so close to a level up, though. If I could just survive for a little longer, and then we'll get a full refill on everything. That'd be fantastic. But, use a mushroom for now, because we really don't want to risk having to redo everything. There we go. Definitely have to start using better things soon. Huh. That was a little odd. But they're still pink and blue, so beyond the fact that they're all lighting up in a weird way, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the one. Hit him. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's only three of them this time, too, so. I should be able to, once again, Quake Hammer and then Coops or Cooper can use. Oh no, I didn't do that. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing. Okay, use your power shell. Thank you. Unfortunately, I'm still gonna take some damage here, but we could have gotten them all done in one turn. How? That was the same exact way I did it last time. Why? All right, total baloney. I know it, but get rid of that guy. All right, Cooper. Shell toss. There, that's all I'm asking for. We get six more points, and on the six HP, I'm really worried about this. We need 17 more points for level up. We got some extra FP out of it, which is great, but I'm officially, I can eat this egg. I don't know if that's a good idea, but 11 out of 25 again. And then we have these uh, mushrooms right here. So it really has to be the whole big group of them <laughs> that were dancing around like crazy, yep. Yep, we're gonna go for this one and hope for the best. Was that the right choice? Let's get Goombario out here. What kind of evil flowers would grow in a place like this? When we approach, some seem to shrink while others just grin. But but I'm not scared, I mean it, Mario. I told you that they, they don't scare me, all right? All right, all right. So, what did he say about them? When we approach, some seem to shrink while others just grin. So these ones shrink. Oh no. Ah, oh, but why? Come on. I might have to run from this. I really don't know if we can handle it. I'll try it, but we're in a lot of trouble if this doesn't work out. Maybe I should've just gone for something else. I don't know if that was the best idea. Oh boy. So let's definitely get rid of one of them right off the bat though. That That's still useful. Okay. I blocked it, thank you. And you're gonna drain one health from me. I can handle this out. I'm pretty sure. Hammer you. Thank you, he's done. Goombari can jump on the other guy and get him down to one HP. Very nice. So, you're gonna hop on me again. I think we'll do the same thing with the stars that we did last, or not last time, but a couple of times ago. So first off, go like this, refresh on you. Thank you. So, of course Mario's gonna heal up a little bit. It's only five HP, but that's the equivalent of a mushroom, so that's still pretty good. There we go and then switching back to Goombario. All I gotta do is jump on him, just once, but 
Ooh, twice for good measure. So far this area has been very challenging, but now we're getting something. Can it be extra experience that'd be so good? The spell will increase the star points you earn. Yeah, nice. All right, so we got 12. We're so close. That is so cool. I'm really glad that we got that. So what are we looking for? Yeah, the flowers. Those shrunk and fell. These ones, they're just gonna grin on us. Gotcha. That's what you deserve right there. Oh my, this one's a bit more of a scare to me though. I think I might just wanna go for this guy. Thank you. And then Goombaru can jump on the guy in the back. Just like that. And then by next turn, we should be able to get rid of both of them, maybe. I did an awful job of blocking that one. He's actually gonna duplicate though. Not good. So how do I wanna do this son? Def definitely not jumping. Okay, you know what? We're doing Quake Hammer. Because then I can get rid of the one and then have Goombario jump on the other. And at least that's something that'll get rid of both of them. Abilities, head bonk, right there. Thank you. So. Yes, okay, that was good, that was good. And then hammer, finish him off. Yay, there we go. Not too bad, I think that'll be our level up. Eight star points, there we go. So yeah, we got a level up. What do I wanna do here? I don't know, I've sort of lost track of what I've upgraded and what I haven't. I think my FP has been fine for the most part though. I feel like my badge points should probably go up. I think that would be the most useful thing. So we're just gonna leave it like that for right now. And yeah, I've interacted with some of these and they just laugh. So maybe we just have to go back through the one we initially entered. No, those ones are shrinking too. So maybe that one that's smiling at us is what we gotta do. How, come on, I can't even see it. Oh no, this one's a bit messy too. We'll do Quake Hammer again, we just leveled up. So hopefully I should probably apply some badges as soon as I can. There we go. Not too bad though, I'm glad that we're sort of starting you know, back from a better spot now at the least. So let's try not to lose too much health. Oh yeah, now they're only giving us one, one star piece instead of two. Did you think they would give us at least one more level before that kind of thing happens, but no. There we go, I'm getting a little bit better with it, right? So, I'm just gonna hammer this first guy. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, really. Thank you. And then switch back to Gumbario, get rid of the other forest fuzzy. I think. Well, actually, no, he stole some health. Oh, silly me. Okay, it's fine, we'll get him next round. So I already have lost five HP. I'm glad I blocked that, <laughs> or I would've been wrong. So we actually, we gotta be careful with this, we need Goombario to attack first. There we go. And then lastly, take out this Piranha Plant. Oh, here we go, we're getting some more help. What will this one be? Probably just extra damage, which I, I really don't need it. <laughs> the timing isn't the best with this, but. We got him, there we go. So yeah, four points there, we're getting up to seven in total. It's something. So I guess the one where they were smiling at us is the one we wanna go for, because all these other ones will will fall and shrink. Yeah, they've already fallen and shrink, shrinken on this one. So, shrunken, this is the only one where they don't do that, so let's go this way. Let's see what he says this time. Where are we? After making so many turns on the different paths, I'm getting confused as to which way is up. Aren't there any signs? Well, if we see a sign, that might be a bad thing. Um, Because that might mean we've gone full circle and start at the beginning again. Speaking of which, if these guys beat me up enough, I'll have to go start back at the beginning again, you know? So let's hope that doesn't happen. There we go. I should probably switch over to Cooper because it doesn't seem like we're getting too many battles here, you know? Um, that with new enemies, but maybe I don't want to risk that. I don't know. I wish that I could block that, but I can't. Okay. So let's keep it going. Ah, oh, I did a bad job with that one. First one we've missed in a while, though. So I think that one more time, we're gonna go for this. Maybe I should just keep out this uh, routinely. There we go. All right, Goombario, you know the deal. Get rid of this guy. And then next time, we should just be able to jump on them uh, with Goombario, even if he steals some health here. But man, we've lost so much health already. We're down to 13. These enemies don't mess around. 
Head bonk on you. There we go. And then Mario should just be able to finish it off with a simple hammer strike. That's at least good. And I'm not gonna mess around with this too much. You just do that, get the two damage. All right, four more points. Slowly nudging through to the next level up. 10, 11% of the way there, right? <laughs> Pretty easy math to do. Oh, here we go, here's a sign. If you have business at Boo's Mansion, come this way. Well, before I make that decision, let's look around. Ooh, no, no, you know what? I, I, I could take a pass right now. I gotta be honest. I just, I don't know if I wanna deal with any more enemies right now. I just wanna see if there's anything extra, because we had that one rant that led to the one guy, right? Maybe there's more like that? No, okay, watch it, buddy. I can't believe I dodged him. That was pretty good. Ooh, here we are. That's crazy. Okay, um. This is spooky. Hey, we made it, Mario. We got out of the forest. It's about time. Say, don't you think that's the mansion the old Boo was talking about? I guess so. Huh. Um, it's Boo's Mansion. Great name for a haunted house, don't you think? It's scary. I don't know if I like it very much. Ooh, nice, I'll use that. People have been telling me I should use these a little bit more often, so I definitely will soon, <laughs> eventually. Um, but I guess for right now, let's go in. And I definitely wanna heal and save before we do too much more. Oh no, can we not leave either? Oh my. <laughs> Look at this gentleman again. Welcome, sirs and madam. I'm pleased you made it through Forever Force. I like how he says sirs and madam, because I think the only madam with us is Bombat. That's p polite, I guess, and properly uh, grammatical. Forever Forest. Uh, my master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. Oh, so we gotta climb the whole thing? Please go to the third floor. There you will hear all the news of the star spirits. I'll see you there. Are you gonna scare us again? Oh, he actually won't. Huh. Still don't know what this is. We've been seeing a couple of these around. They have to be something. Um, boom. Let's definitely get this heal we desperately been needing. I'm glad I didn't heal myself with any of my items. Uh, but let's go ahead and save right there. Is there anything else of interest? Ooh, maybe there is. What is all this? This is the back gate to Boo's mansion. As far as I can tell, this is the edge of the Gusty Gulch. Tubble Bubba's castle is up on the hill. It's amazing how the scenery changes from the forest to the gulch so quickly. You can't open it. All right, well, can't go in there for right now. So yeah, I guess our next goal is just to go into the, the castle itself or the mansion. Okay, so let's head into the castle and hope for the best, I guess. I'm a bit worried if things were dangerous in the forest surrounding the mansion, not a castle, what's well, gonna be like inside of here? What a magnificent mansion. Being haunted must hurt the real estate value, though. I like the old fashioned yet eerie style. The chandelier and the display case look like they're valuable antiques. Even the sofa in the foyer looks like it's pricey, even though it's a bit worn. I love antiques. I wouldn't mind taking a good look at those things. All right, well, I guess that's his suggestion on what we should do first. Uh, so let's take a look at this. Um, can't much do much to that, but a little table over this way. Once again, can't do anything with it. Weird, but yeah, before we leave this room, I'm gonna take a look at everything. Why, whoa, <laughs> okay, now we're on the chandelier. I was not expecting that, but that opened a secret door. Okay. Huh. Well, that was something else. Oh, but now it's, oh. But how am I gonna get over to the door in time? I guess we'll have to find out. There's not too much else going on in this room. I guess we can go through this door. Ah! Maybe we shouldn't. That's that's just a fake door. Gotcha. <laughs> well, let's go up this way. Oh, there's a picture of uh, the Boo guy. Oh, there's some Boos moving around. Can I fight him? I wonder. Very spooky. What about this door? No, this one works. Very functional. Huh, well, let's see what he says about this. Hey, that strange contraption at the back of the room is a phonograph. You know, a machine for listening to records. Have you seen any records around here? I wouldn't mind doing a little adventuring to the timeless classic Mario's theme. I would like that too. Can we get you? Oh, we can talk to you. I am so bored, bored. I know the Lady Bao ordered me to stay here, but for how long? I don't know. Okay, so can I open this chest? 
No. So we gotta find a way to get you to move. What was that back there? I guess there might be some booze moving around outside too. Whoa, whoa! Oh no, poor Mario got toasted! Oh my, is that actually gonna do damage? I guess not. So here's a phonograph. Yeah, there definitely are booze moving around there. It's a phonograph. It would be nice if there were a record to play. I'm sure we'll have to find one then. Can I hop up here? Indeed I can. It's so not too much going on here yet, but if we can find a way to make that boo move, maybe there'll be something in there. Okay. Whoa, what's up with this? Hi, did I startle you? You wanna go up to the third floor, don't you? Well, I'm afraid you'll have to go find whatever's missing from this frame. If you manage to find it, I'll let you go upstairs. <laughs> Bow is such a harsh boo, testing her guests like this. Okay. So we're trying to find Madame Bow, I suppose. What is this about? This one's oddly colored. Oh my gosh, we got a swarm. Oh, there's a record. Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. All right, um, is it just a wild guessing game or do I get, the Lady Bow will be very angry if we let him get it too easily, fellow booze. Do, you ba do your best like we practiced. Okay, I'm a little confused here. Does he have it then? Oh, okay, that guy has it. I'm watching him. Is he gonna hand it back? Okay, they're still moving, they're still moving. I can't, I can't, um, uh, hey, booze and booze. I don't know. I don't know. I, the problem is they're still spinning. I think I got it. I think it's this guy. Yeah! <laughs> All right. No, boo-hoo. You, you guessed right. Go on, take this. Oh, boo, Lady Bow's really going to flip out on us. Well, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> All right, you got the record. A record of upbeat music. How can you play this? Well, with the phonograph in the other room, of course. Uh, also, what does uh, Goombari have to say? Wow, what a gorgeous chandelier. If we actually cleaned it, or if they actually cleaned it, it would brighten this place up. What about this little grandfather clock? Not too much. Anything else going on around here? We can shake these open. Ah! Oh, that actually did damage too, oh no. We gotta be careful around here then. I and mean, this one's not gonna have too much more, right? Nope. Okay, I think this room's all finished up then. For now. So with this record, we can go back over here and try to play it in the phonograph. Just like that. Yep, a record of upbeat music. How can you play this? We know, right here. Tap A to play the record. You've gotta have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. I don't understand. So I'm just trying to play it with the music. It's sort of working. If I tap it a lot. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to be filling it up. That's sort of the thing. I get it now. So I was doing it good by keeping it in the purple. Bum, 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 bum. I actually know how to play a little bit of this song on the piano. Only like, like one note at a time. Not like anything fancy, but. <laughs> It's a pretty easy one to learn that. Okay, so I think we're doing a good job. Once again, I think we're supposed to be keeping it in the center. I mean, the booze is dancing along. So like, am I supposed to do something? Maybe if I stop, oh, 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 I got it. Come on, open it, open it, open it. You got the weight, a very heavy weight. Now, how, how can you use this? I think we know. Oh no, Lady Bow gave me this one job to guard that treasure chest. She's gonna punish me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh well, I may still be okay. <laughs> it's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use that weight. And he's gone. Okay, well, I think we do know how to use the weight is the problem for you, so yeah, that's what we're gonna figure out right now. Going down this way, just like that. What else can we figure out around here? First off, can I jump down? Nope, I gotta do it the long way. 
So I don't think there's a way for us to get up to the third floor, like that one painting was suggesting, just yet. But we know that we can go over this way now. And I guess this, maybe Mario can leave the, the weight down somehow? I'm not really sure. Uh. Yep, use the weight. <laughs> there we go, perfect. So over this way, gonna open up this door and see what's inside. Whoa, we got ourselves a, a thing right away. Oh no! Did we get anything for that? Was it just a weird trap? The blue light is spooky in here, but you can tell that this room is really nice. It feels like something is watching us. It feels like that, that everywhere. It's almost as if this haunted mansion is haunted. I'd imagine so. Is there something with the blue light? Hmm. Okay, well, not too much we can do in this room then. Apparently opening this present, or this treasure chest, didn't do too much for us either. So let's go down the staircase. Oh, okay. He's not gonna say anything more about this area. Can I hop up on anything? Or go into the grandfather clock like in Mario 64? <laughs> not quite. Oddly, a lack of things to do around here. A storage room, isn't it? You'd think the candles would provide a bit more light. You would, wouldn't you? Can I push these? No, this seems to be just like a weird chest, but no way to open it. And here's another one. There's gotta be something going on around here that we just don't quite know yet. No, 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 I wanted to, no, we're trapped. Another storage room, I guess. Not a whole lot here, as far as I can tell. Hey, incidentally, what happened to the door? Uh-oh. What did happen to the door? Whoa, big chest. Um. Oh gosh, a bunch of booze. Again with this. Oh, what is this gonna be? It's a boot. Mario, welcome. If you want these boots, you must guess who holds them. Sure. The Lady Bao will be very angry if we let him get to them too easily, fellow booze. Do your best like we practice. So just like before, I was gonna pay extra, extra attention. So it's this boo for, whoa, whoa. Okay. I know exactly which one it is, but now they're all coming together. It makes it very complicated. I'm just trying to watch them. So I'm just gonna skip past that text. It's funny that they, oh no, but they're moving. When the, it, it moved off the camera. No, I think it's this one. Come on, no, no, no. How can I reach you? Wait, how do I? Do I have to hit you with a hammer? What am I doing here? There we go. I was right, awesome. You got the super boots. The attack power of Mario's jump increases. And now you can do the spin jump by pressing A again while in the air. Really? That's great. So it's just like the hammer upgrade we got before. Um, that's awesome, I'm really happy about that. No, boo-hoo, you, you guessed right. Go on, take them. Oh, boo, Lady Bao's really going to flip out on us. So they're all gonna leave, so yeah. So let's try out this spin jump. Whoa, so it's like a booty slam, I love it. Can we? Yeah, awesome. Oh, what did that give us? A maple syrup, delicious maple syrup restores 10 FP. Definitely gonna try to break everything I can. And hello. There's a hidden floor panel very near here. A star piece is underneath the floor panel. Press A while jumping. Boost, a boost of luck. Uh, can you find it? So there's a, oh, whoa, okay. Uh, it seems like it's right here. But that's not working. Hmm, what if I did it somewhere else? No, that's definitely here. Why is that? Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Well, let's try breaking this one. Oh no. No! Oh, I'm gonna have to go back there for sure. Weird. Cause it's just like it wasn't it wasn't working. Let's try this. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see what uh Goombari has to say. A storage room, isn't it? You'd think these candles would provide a bit more light. So it's basically the same description as the other area. So here's the button. I think I'll press that button last. I have a feeling that might be the best bet. Ooh, oh hello, there's a little shop. That's cute. Lady Bao told me not to sell any items to Mario. You're him. <laughs> well, isn't that a little unfair? Okay, well this is a little creepy. It's weird, it doesn't always work. 
uh, the, the booty slam. Okay, so let's try pressing the button then. There we go. Another button. A big button, oh here we go. <laughs> now I can do the big slam on the big button. I got it. There it is. Cool. And that's a staircase, okay, so now it makes sense why he had the same description. It's all part of the same room. So I can't do this shop just yet, but hopefully I can come back. Because there are some new items there. Okay, ooh, speaking of items, we got a super shroom in that one. And what about this one? Nothing. So let's go back into this room, and what's going on with this, this spare tile? It seems like this is it, but nothing happens. Okay, that time it worked. Don't know what I did from that time, but there we go, star piece for us. Now these are back, are they going to give me anything more? Uh, not if I miss. Okay, ready? Not looking like it. Okay, well I'm glad I tried. So, I think we got it all figured out. We'll keep looking around for more of those. I don't know if there's gonna be more hidden panels around. But for right now, I guess I gotta go back up this way. And like, once again, should I be looking for more floor panels? I'm a little unsure, but we can go back this way now. Cause these all, all these tiles look the same. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, that's concerning. Am I gonna have to start booty slamming in like every room of this mansion or in the game? I don't know. So like where do, exactly do I have to hit it is always the question. There we go. It's like right on the edge of it. Um, there's another star piece, so yeah, that's gonna be quite the challenge, isn't it? Um, to try to find everything, but maybe it only works in those rooms, who knows? Oh yeah, we have this again. <laughs> that's all it does. I wish it did more, but I guess it doesn't. But yeah, I'll just look around. The problem is you have to be pretty close to them. I don't know, I, I'm never a big fan of collectibles like that. I know that's a thing in some of the older Zelda games where it's just like, you just sort of have to know that there's like a hidden area somewhere, unless you really wanna go and just butt slam everything everywhere like this, which I definitely don't. Maybe something on the carpet. Oh, yeah, there we go. If there's something obvious like that, I'll definitely try it. And there we go, three star pieces all in a row. Pretty cool. So where are we trying to go now? I could bounce off of this, but whoa. This brings me up here now. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do much for me though. So where are we going next? I don't know. Scratch, uh, search the mansion for what's missing from this scene. If you find it, I'll let you to the third floor. Okay, so we've already been in this room. Not too much more. Oh, hey, never mind. Cool. Uh, what about this? Nope, bounce on the bed doesn't do much. We'll leave for right now. And try going this way. Now this one, like there's nothing necessarily descriptive about any of these areas, so I don't see where there would be a panel unless it's just totally random. I'm guessing we'll have to do a lot of re-exploring through the game if we do want to get every star piece, which I don't mind doing. I just don't know if I want to do all that right now. So this room was fake before. Oh, it's not anymore. Aha. Okay. What's going on with this pot? Whoa, whoa, what? Why are we classic Mario now? Um, okay. Goombario, what do I do? Oh, what? Why? That was weird. This room does have a lot of space, but it's still a shame to use it for storage. That pot and those wooden boxes look suspicious. There's also a weakened spot on the floor. Look under the chandelier. Hey, check it out, a real shocking chair. These these things rule, a rocking chair. It rocks back and forth when you sit on it. I love napping in these. I wonder if we can actually take a nap in it, restore some health, that'd be nice. Yeah, we can actually rock in them a little bit. It's a little awkward though. Come on now. This has gotta do something. Come on now. That's, it's a little weird though. Come on. Hopefully Goombario's having some fun. I don't know if this is doing much. Okay, well, I tried. What is the purpose of 8-Bit Mario? This has gotta do something, right? Can jump up here. Any like hidden blocks anywhere? 
It doesn't jump any higher than normal Mario. Actually, it might jump a little bit lower. Oh, we can, can we sprint? No? <laughs> this is just like a cute little Easter egg then. I love it. There we go. Let's slam that. And then same deal over this way. Not much. Oh, there we go, this is new. This is an apple. Uh, a sweet tangy apple restores five HP. We're actually filled up on inventory right now, which is a total shame. Let's put over the mistake. I don't need that, that's for sure. And then we get another one. Oh, that's sort of a shame. I'm filled up on almost everything, so I guess I'm just gonna have to leave it. Yeah, I, I don't really have too much of a choice there. Okay, gotta be careful with breaking stuff for now then. Ooh, you know, we could get over there with Paracarry. What is, oh, you know, that's for the picture frame. Actually, let's actually switch back to Gumbario real quick and read up on this area. There seems to be some kind of library. There certainly seems to be a lot of books. I didn't know booze liked books. Maybe they didn't, maybe the people who used to live here after, before the booze. Anyways, let's get Paracarry to carry us over this way. And what do you know? We got, oh, hold on, I didn't mean to do it like that. <laughs> let's read it in the items. Boo's portrait, a portrait of an old male Boo. Also, while we're here, maybe I should apply some badges. I have three badge points available. What can we do with those? I haven't done any battles in this mansion. We can do FP plus just to make things easier. Uh, for right now, that's all we'll worry about. I'm sure that we'll get to some of the other stuff later. And it looks like we could jump down and explore more of the library that way. I certainly will do that once I make extra sure. There's not too much going on around here. Okay, we're fine. So this is a very creepy, very creepy library. And once again, is there gonna be any kind of hidden panel anywhere? I don't know. Like I can only assume that there would be, but at the same time, oh, you know what? That's a problem. Can I get back up there? I should have hopped down from there. Hmm, okay, well, there's definitely, if it's gonna be lined up like that, there must be something special up there. So we should try that again, but for now, Bombette can break that open, wow. Very explosive. And we're back here again. Okay, cool. See, I just gotta get around again. And we should be able to figure that out. Okay, try to make this jump. There we go, I almost didn't make it. But I can break these boxes, no problem. And there's a star piece in it. Okay, easy as that. We've gotten so many star pieces in this mansion. It's awesome. So, what else do we got going around? Um, I guess I just gotta get back up for now. Because yeah, now we have the boo portrait. I can put that back in the painting. And we're good to go. So let's get to it. So right up this way. Oh no, <laughs> did I miss the staircase? Yes, I did. <laughs> How embarrassing. But let's also switch over to Goombario, just so that we're ready for whatever might tackle us. You never know. So. I guess it's this one? No wait, no, that's right, I, I, I just passed it. <laughs> Getting a little confused with the, with the layout of this mansion. What do you know, it's a mansion, it's very large. Use which item? Boo's portrait. Sounds good to me. Phew, ah, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. All right then, I'll help you go to the third floor, okay? Jump toward the drawing and I'll take care of the rest. It really is like Mario 64, wee! Oh, that's cool. Say hello to Bao for me. Oh, really, we're going to Bao already. So I also wanna see if Goombario says anything. What a magnificent mansion. Okay, no, same thing as always. But what else is going on around here? There's more than one door. So that's a little tricky. What if there's no secret around here, okay? Is this the right door? Okay, they both went the same way, I think. ha! <laughs> you finally arrived. You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing you to see if you would live up to your reputation. How were the tests? Tough? They weren't too bad. A bit tricky. Whoa, she's so cute. She's green. My name is Bao. I'm glad to finally meet you. I am Blutler, Bootler, the butler. I'm Lady Bao's humble servant. The reason I asked you here is that I need a favor. Bootler, give him the rundown. Of course, my lady. Mario, do you know the area near the, here called Gusty Gulch? A hill rises at the top of the gulch and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster and he eats us, ghosts. Boos are his favorite food. Many fr friends have been eaten. We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us boos to slow him down even slightly. 
He seems invincible. That's why he's known as the Invincible Tub of Blubber. Yeah, Bowser's talked about him. There is hope, however. If the rumors are true, then Tubba Blubba has a secret that he closely guards. And that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario. I want you to find out who his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, won't you? Of course, you'll get a reward for doing us this service. If you beat Tubba Blubba up, I'll let you have this. Oh no, it's one of the star spirits. Mario, I'm sorry we must meet in such a dire situation. My name is Scholar. I escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle, but I was in quite a weakened state when I made it outside. As a result, I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make the leap to Star Haven, but I lost, but I became lost in the forest. While hunting for a way out, I was captured by Booz, and now here I am. I don't know what to say. What do you think, Mario? Not not such a bad deal, is it? You would have had to fight Tubba Blubba to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? This way, you help us booze, too. Besides, I'm going with you. I'll, I'll help you like no one else can. Oh, really? My lady, what did you say just now? You, at the Tubba Blubba's castle, quite out of the question. I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Still, still your tongue, Bootler. I've seen too much suffering caused by Tubba Blubba. I wish to see him punished with my own two eyes. Besides, Mario will need me. There's no way he can reach the castle without my powers. Oh, alas, then Lady I, Bootler, will accompany you. It is my sworn duty to see that no harm befalls you. The ancestors demand it. I will be at your side always. You stop that nonsense. I'm not a child anymore. Man, she's getting really mad. I'll be fine by myself. You await here for my return. L uh, lady. Uh. All right, well, I guess uh, Lady Bow is joining us. Is this all right, Mario? I'll join up with you until we oust Tubba Blubba. Well, would you look at that? Bow joined the party, like it or not. Press down to have her make you both become transparent so no one will notice you. While you're transparent, objects go right through you. But if you move or press down, you won't be transparent anymore. You'll return to normal. While in battles, she can slap enemies silly with her smack attack. Or use out of sight to make your bo you both become transparent so you can elude enemy attacks. That sounds useful. Okay then, Tubba Blubba's going down. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? So we got uh, her right here, we can use that, we go invisible. So if there's any fierce enemies walking around we want to avoid, I guess we can do that. This is the highest room in the mansion. I'm guessing it's Bao's room. She seems like the type to live in a huge room. When you look at this room, it's pretty obvious that Bao was raised by a really wealthy family of booze. So I did want to check, did we have a letter for somebody around here? I don't think so, but more tea in Coover. No, okay. <laughs> I had to make sure, right? Um, so you, I don't think there's anything more to do in this room, but I might as well talk to you. Good, good luck. Please take care of our lady. I will. Is there anything to slam on around here or something? You'd think there'd be something or other, but I don't think so. So that was a lot of fun. We were able to make our way through the mansion and unlock a new party member. It was uh, Lady Bao. She has the shortest name yet. But um, yeah, very, very cool. I can't wait to explore more of the chapter and hopefully take on take down Tubba Blubba in the next episode of Paper Mario. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.